Hello out there in internet world. Uh, my name is Sam Berliner. I use he and they pronouns and I'm one of the programmers here at Frameline 44. And I'm so excited to welcome you to tonight's Q&A for the film Alice Jr. Uh, we have a lot of really special guests here to chat in the Q&A this evening. Um, and before we get to them, I just wanna say thank you to all of you out there audience members that I can't see, but I know you're there. And I'm really happy that you decided to spend some time on your computer with Frameline. Um, so with that, um, I'm just gonna let each of the participants from the Q&A um, come on screen and introduce themselves and let us know what their role is on the film. And then we'll dive in. In whatever yeah. order you'd like. Yeah, go ahead. Vice you. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for this opportunity. We are very honorable to be part of this special edition from Frameline. And my name is Gil Baroni. I am the director and producer of Alice Junior. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Annie. Annie. Hi guys, thank you for having me here. I play Alice, I play Alice Jr. in the movie Alice Jr. I'm the main actress. Uh, good evening or good afternoon to all of you. My name is Emmanuel Rosset and uh, I am Alice's father in the movie. Hi everyone, my name is Surya. I played Thaisa in the movie. Uh, Thaisa is a very close friend with Alice. And I am 24 years old. I... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having me, for having us. <laughs> that's great. We're so excited that you're all here. I mean, that's one of the positive things about doing it online is that maybe you wouldn't all be able to come in person, but you can be here on the lovely internet. So I'm really happy that you're here. Um, and bummed that Luis couldn't be here, the screenwriter uh, for technical difficulties. So I had a couple questions lined up for him. So I might throw them out and see if anyone knows the answer, um, which would be really cool. Okay. All right. Uh, so first off, congratulations on such a really fantastic film. Um, I love this movie and uh, the pro other programmers and I are just really excited to be able to share it with our audiences at Frameline. Um, so yay, giant congrats to all of you. Um, uh, let's see. So um, I was going to ask Luis, uh, and I was curious if any of you knew, um, taking on such a hard topic like transphobia and turning it on its head and making it something that's so fierce and fun and like awesome um, is super refreshing. So I was curious if any of you knew where the idea from the film for the film came um, since Luis isn't here. Uh, okay, first I, I will speak in Portuguese and so Manu will translate for, 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 for you, okay? Um, a ideia surgiu com o Bertazzo, ele queria muito fazer, contar uma história que tivesse uma protagonista trans, empoderada, é, protagonista, e que fosse uma história que inspirasse outras pessoas é, do universo queer, do universo LGBT, a se empoderarem, mas principalmente uma personagem trans, né, já que o Brasil carrega uma estatística vergonhosa de violência contra os corpos trans, contra a comunidade trans. Então, ele fez isso também pensando, muito escreveu essa história, pensando que se ele, na adolescência dele, tivesse visto filmes assim, quem sabe ele pudesse ter saído do armário e ter tido mais acolhimento mais cedo. Então, foi com o intuito de, de fazer uma história que fosse inspiracional e também que fosse, é, trouxesse mais mas o protagonismo trans uma história que fosse uma história de acolhimento, de amor, né, de conquista, do primeiro beijo, da adolescência. Ok. So, uh, the idea originally came 
where he wanted to he wanted to sh to he wanted that there be a movie with a real trans actress mm. and because uh, here in Brazil up to now all all movies that represent trans people are are not done with real trans actresses mm. so that was the first uh, that was the first idea the first main desire uh, he also said that in his own adolescence, if there had been a movie like Alice Jr., maybe it would have uh, contributed to his uh, leaving the closet earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, he also wanted to show, uh, uh, he wanted to, that this movie be, uh, uh, how could I say, it could be, a sh it's a movie basically about love, a, a movie basically about respect. Mm. And those are the main guidelines that orientated him in the in the in the idea, in the main idea of this movie. That's so great. Thank you both <clears throat> for expressing and translating. I, I <laughs> cool. Appreciate it. Um, but they speak English though. Well, I understand if they want to not. <laughs> um, no it's it's great it's great whatever you're most comfortable doing is is great um okay uh i wanted to ask annie um so i hear that you are a real life youtuber um and i'm curious <laughs> about that experience um and how you got into that and what that's been like Okay, um, I'm going to answer in Portuguese too, so my dad from the movie will have to translate that. So I'm going to answer in Portuguese. Uh, eu comecei meu canal do YouTube em 2016 através de um vídeo que um ex-professor meu do meu ensino médio pediu para eu fazer, para ele passar na escola, que eu já não estudava mais lá, mas ele pediu para eu fazer esse vídeo, tá falando sobre identidade de gênero. E eu fiz esse primeiro vídeo e daí em diante eu resolvi fazer vários outros vídeos sobre a causa trans. E eu levo meu canal até hoje, gravei uns vídeos recentemente que vão ser lançados em setembro. E eu falo sobre majoritariamente a causa trans e sobre trans fake também, sobre como foi meu período de transição, já que eu transicionei nos Estados Unidos durante meu intercâmbio. E também falo um pouco sobre Alice Júnior. Ok, so... Uh... <risos> Her, her experience on the YouTube started in 2016 when she was in high school and one of her teachers suggested that she express herself uh, through a video. And so that's how she started. And her objective was to talk about gender identity. And ever since then, her YouTube channel has increased increased and uh, what she basically talks about is the trans cause uh also what the problem of trans fakes uh her transition of 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 her her own her own transition and lately obviously a lot about the movie mm -hmm. alice jr that's so great um i have to ask then how did you get connected to this project, it seems like it was maybe even written for you. Is that is that true? How did how did all that come together? Annie, você pode responder essa pergunta. Annie, you can answer this question. Okay, I'm gonna answer in Portuguese again. <laughs> so, <laughs> em 2016 também houve uma seleção via internet para atrizes trans adolescentes para interpretar uma personagem trans. E isso foi muito bom, porque eu não estava necessitando de uma pessoa cisgênera para interpretar uma personagem trans. Eu me inscrevi pela internet e depois disso eu comecei a participar de maneira mais séria na, no, no, na escrita do roteiro, fazendo consultoria, já que eu sou uma pessoa trans e quem estava escrevendo era uma pessoa cisgênera. E eu também eu participei da seleção de elenco, porque a gente queria fazer um filme com pessoas que não só é, atuassem bem, fossem atores e etc., mas também é, entendessem da causa e soubessem mais sobre a causa trans, porque era necessário um filme onde todo mundo fosse, fosse empático para essa causa. 
Uh, so once again, in the same year, in 2016, she participated in an internet selection uh, to be a trans actress because they were they were looking for a trans actress for a movie. And uh, however, she didn't mention for which movie. I believe it's for Alice Junior. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah. ever since then, she she's, she 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 increased her participation in the movie. And uh, up to the point that uh, the script was not exactly written for her, but she participated in the modifications of the script due to her, due to what she brought uh, to the director and to Luis uh, from all of her personal experience. So there, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of modifications in the script thanks to Anne. That's amazing. So sort of is is the answer to the question. It's like it's sort of it, it became sort of your story and you got to collaborate. Um that's amazing. Uh I'm curious. And I, I help I help it in, I help it in the casting too because we wanted um beyond actors and actress, we wanted uh people that uh understand about the trans community and the trans issues. So we have Surya, for example, that has a, a transgender uh, a member in her family. So mm -hmm. she understands all about the transgender community too. So. That's super great. Um, Jill, did you want to talk about that process at all um, with uh, collaborating on set and anything like that? Uh, sim, é, é, assim, quando, desde o começo, assim, a ideia era fazer um filme que tivesse, obviamente, uma, uma atriz trans protagonizando a história. E quando a gente conheceu a Anne, de cara, foi paixão à primeira vista, é, ela começou a nos ensinar, é, como ela bem disse, o roteiro foi escrito pelo Bertazzo, né, que, é um, que é um escritor cis, né, de gênero, mas com a experiência dela, né, ela trazendo as experiências dela, ela também se associou ao filme com a cultura associada, ela ajudou muito a gente a contar essa história a partir do olhar de uma mulher trans, de uma pessoa trans. E isso também influenciou o processo de seleção de elenco, como ela disse, e também influenciou muito o processo dentro da filmagem. Né? A gente foi aprendendo muito com a Anne, porque esse filme não foi escrito para ela, foi escrito com ela. E a gente foi respeitando muito e aprendendo muito com ela. Então, eu acho que nós todos, né? Falo eu, eu, o diretor, o Bertazzo, o roteirista, a, o elenco, a equipe de produção. Até hoje nós estamos aprendendo. O filme está ensinando a gente é, o tempo todo. Né? Então, é um processo de aprendizado. Ouvir muito, ouvir muito, ouvir muito e decodificar essas informações em forma de imagens para que o espectador também possa gostar, apreciar a história e aprender também né, com a Alice. A Alice ensina muito. So, <laughs> I'm here taking notes of everything he said, but it's going to be difficult. Uh, at the beginning, they did want to always have a real trans actress. And when they found Anne, it was basically love at first sight. Uh, up to the point that Anne became an associate of the movie Alice Jr., and it, which permitted her to participate in the casting, which, which permitted her also to, to, to give her constant opinion uh, during the filming, during the, the, the every scene, basically. And uh, something very nice that Gilles said is that uh, this movie was not written for her, but it was written with her. Mm. So this really shows how uh, Anne, the, the part, Anne's participation in the movie is much more important than we actually think it is. She's not just a mere actress. Mm. Uh, and the whole objective is obviously to teach uh, not just us, the, the the people that worked with her, but the whole public to to teach them what what the life of a trans is, and as Gilles said, we are we are learning until today. Every day she has something to teach us. 
to share with us. That's I think that's it. Yeah, I think, I honestly think it shows. It really does because the film feels authentic. Um, it feels like it, it navigates some tropes that are, we see really often in trans films, um, but it very like clearly and delicately and intentionally navigates around those and kind of like touches on them and then takes it somewhere else. So like the, the bathroom issue, right? Like we hear about bathrooms and trans people all the time. And so to take that and then be like, we're making a feminist bathroom. And like, you know, like it just, it, it takes it in a new way. Anyway, I just, I really think it shows that um, that you were so involved in addition to acting. Um, I think that's really awesome. Um, uh, Surya, I'm curious. Um, I think that I read that you're a musician. Um, how did you get into acting and get connected with this film? Okay, so actually I was not so involved with music before the movie. Uh, oh. I, 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 I think I, I like to sing and to write songs since, since I was a young kid, <laughs> a little kid, but uh, at the time, I was focusing on acting, actually. I, I really enjoy it. I still like it. Uh, but when I realized I was uh, writing songs again and singing again, so actually one of my songs uh, are in, uh, one of my songs is in the movie, in the soundtrack. So that's really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Gil, for that. <laughs> and... Yeah, I, I really like writing, singing, and and and, and I think acting uh, really comes together with that because I think it's it's kind. Of, I don't know. I think everything adds to one thing. You know, you can express 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 yourself. Uh, acting and singing and singing and acting all of all uh, at once. So yeah. <laughs> And how did you get connected um, with this film? Oh, so I, I heard about the, the casting through the internet. Uh, I think it was, I, I can't remember how actually, but I was very interested. And so at the day, at the day of the test, I think I met Anne. And she did the test with me, actually. So we talked a lot. She interviewed me, and and yeah, and suddenly I was in <laughs> everything. That's great. I think your character is so great because she's having such a hard time, and then happens to come upon someone drawing this really cool tattoo, and it just you're like, hey, you're doing something different. You're probably gonna be my friend. Um, I just thought that was really great. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Emmanuel, I'd love to ask you a question that you get to answer as yourself, not just. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, your character is the best dad ever. Um, and I, I, oh yeah, I would. <laughs> I'd love to hear how you prepared for your role, how that process was, anything you'd like to tell us about that. Sure, sure. No, it's uh, I. Uh, this is definitely the best father ever in the universe. Mm -hmm. uh, how did I? How did I prepare for this? Well, we had we had a casting preparation with Anne. Uh, it lasted for a few months. Every Saturday, every sun, some Sundays, we we would practice. We would we would go over our speeches, and we were always guided by Luis uh, Luis Bertazzo. So it was. It was really good uh, because I I had never acted in my life, and and I believe had acted very very little. So we are we are basically two neophytes uh, uh, doing this, and it was uh, an incredible and wonderful experience. That's for sure. That's for sure. And thank you, Gilles, for this wonderful opportunity. 
I'm completely shocked. I didn't know that neither of you had acted before, which means you did awesome. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, Thank and you. much, 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 much better than I. That's for sure. It's not a competition. But, uh, no, it's not. It's it's. it's <laughs> I. I I, I looked at it as a as a unique experience in my life, and I, I did the best I could, and uh, I'm very happy with the results. That's for sure. Yeah, you did great. Thank you. Uh, for sure, I was like, okay, he gets the nicest dad award. <laughs> yeah. Um. So so yeah, and you hadn't you hadn't acted before. What was what was this process like? What was filming like? Anything you'd like to share about that? Uh, it, it was tough. It was tough. There, there's no doubt about it. There were some scenes that were really uh, emotional and getting yourself to, to, to dive into that personage and, and try to be that cool dad, that respectful father. Uh, it was not always easy. That's for sure. I remember some days after filming, I was just exhausted. I was drained. I never thought it would be so difficult. And I mean, honestly, I had very short lines to remember, thank God, because this was even much more difficult for me, Portuguese not being my first language. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. And she had the opportunity to take some theater classes. Oh. So she already had some notion of acting, but my ex my previous experience of acting was when I was seven years old in elementary school. <laughs> what was your role? <laughs> oh, I, I I don't remember, but I just oh. remember I couldn't remember my lines. It was the most embarrassing the tree, thing. The, maybe the tree, the tree. <laughs> <laughs> the tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Um, yeah. And what was it like for you uh, acting on? For the first time because you're so natural on camera with the youtube but youtube's very different i'd love to hear about that um i think i'm gonna answer half in english and half in portuguese yes so um it was not my first experience in acting but it was like my fifth experience in acting so it was like a, one of the first uh, it was it was very hard but thanks to bertazzo we he was the um uh, he was doing our preparation to act in the movie so he uh G, he and Gio directed uh, directed us very uh in a good way so it was uh, kind of easy after the preparation to act in the movie hmm. and i started to decorate my lines months ago in the uh a, a year earlier than to act in the movie now I'm gonna answer in Portuguese. Uh, eu tive algumas experiências, mas foram poucas. E eu comecei minha preparação decorando e a preparação para interpretar a Alice aqui em Recife. E depois continuei com o Bertazzo em Curitiba. A gente teve basicamente um mês de preparação de elenco com todos os personagens em todas as cenas. E aí facilitou um pouco as coisas para a gente interpretar no filme. Mas, como o Manu falou, realmente é um trabalho bem exaustivo, durou semanas, e assim, como era um trabalho mais grandioso, era muito mais trabalhoso para a gente. E, mas, tendo todo esse trabalho, foi depois que a gente terminou de gravar que eu decidi que era isso que eu queria levar para a minha vida. Ok, então... So, uh... <risos> As she said, she 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 had a she had some experience, some previous experience, but not as much as real actors or actresses. And therefore, uh, thanks to Luis Bertazzo uh, and and this this whole month actually of cast preparation, she she spent much more time than I did preparing for herself because she practiced with all the other actors and actresses of the movie. So she, her 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 responsibility was much bigger uh and yes she does agree that it is a very tiring job very exhaustive but when she finished filming uh, alice jr that also permitted her to decide that that is what she wanted to do in life that's great yeah 
<laughs> you caught the acting bug. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm curious uh, for for Jill. Um, you you created this like super fun, super playful world. Um, I'd love to hear about the design of the film or your influences um, because she's so fierce and like the colors pop and the music is fun and it's like she's in a video game. Maybe that was what you intended. I'm not sure, but I'd love to hear about the design and and anything you'd like to say about that. The the, the first idea for me uh, is, 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 is to create a big vlog. The movie is a big vlog. Uh, the main actress are all the time look at the camera and breaking the, the floor, looking to the the audience. Now I'm speaking party. E queríamos muito que esse vlog grande ele fosse, fosse pop, com muitos cortes, com muito ritmo, com muita intervenção. Então, quando o Bertazzo começou a escrever o roteiro, ele tinha um desenho, depois a Adriel entrou para ajudar com o diálogo, a Adriel Nízia, que é o corroteirista, e a Anne também somando as suas experiências. E quando a gente percebeu, a gente tinha um filme muito vivo, muito jovial, muito pop, e que combina, o que combina com o pop? Música, cortes, intervenções gráficas, vivemos esse momento de manipular as imagens. E aí, na edição, o filme foi ganhando também outra camada para trazer essa beleza da intervenção na imagem, com linhas, traços e, e essa vida e animações porque a gente queria muito dialogar com esse tempo, dialogar com esse tempo hoje é você brincar com a imagem. Então, além de ter uma história muito forte, bonita, do primeiro beijo de uma garota trans, a gente queria que a linguagem fosse uma linguagem que tocasse também as pessoas, ou convidasse as pessoas para conhecer essa história, essa fábula contemporânea trans. É isso. So, correct me if I'm wrong, okay, Surya? Uh, no, he, his objective was that this movie be transformed into a huge vlog, uh, thanks to Anne and her experience. And he wanted, he wanted to show something super modern with lots of cuts, lots of editing, uh, short, uh, short sequences. And through during the process of the creation of this movie uh in came uh one of the co-writers whose name is adriel and him plus Anne, together with luis bertazzo they were able to create this new kind of language and to to uh to dedicate themselves to a young audience and what do young people like they like to have pop music they like to have uh uh, you know, lots of lights, lots of colors, uh, everything very, very happy, very flashy. And uh, th through the process of the editing, they, they realized that there was a new language in this kind of movie. And that's where they decided to insert all of these uh, uh, digital effects that, that is basically one of the huge trademarks of this movie. It just because, brings so much to the movie. Yes, Gil. So one little thing more. I I will try to speak this in English because we are living this 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 unique moment in our life that we have a smartphone with cameras. We made photos, a lot of pictures, a lot of photos. We have we we have the necessity to intervention in the images. We are living now TikTok moment. We have all the tools in our hands to create and transform image and information. A few years ago, when we are editing Alice, I thought, why not to transform or to create this language to the audience, uh, showing that this intervention, because this intervention is the part, this intervention is in, in the image, is, uh, it be part of uh, of our life. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think I, I think I see what you're saying. Yes, yes. And I I really like I love the lines. Like 
the little like squigglies or like the beautiful boys walking towards you. It's just like, oh my God. Like it just uh, yeah. it is, it's a new language in film. Um, wow, my timer actually worked. Okay, I'm gonna ask one more question. Um, okay, so this is a question for everyone. Um, I really, really love uh, Alice's last line in the movie where um, she says, I'm a trans person, I'm hard to beat and ready for whatever comes my way. And then directly looks at the camera and says, who are you? Um, and I would love to hear what each of you feel like you hope the audience um, takes away from this film. Gil, vai. Não, o que, que eu não entendi o final da pergunta, gente. O que, que foi ali? O que, que você acha que o povo, o, 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 te, o espectador, deve levar consigo para casa depois de ver o Alice? Qual é a eu, mensagem? Eu... Sim, sim, I understood. I understood. Ok. É, eu acho, assim, quando. Eu acho não. A, a provocação de olhar para a câmera e perguntar: Who are you and, and yes. quem é você? é para que as pessoas reflitam muito sobre esse momento de tolerância, esse momento que a gente vive, de refletir mais sobre respeito, tolerância e ovacionar, principalmente, a diversidade, sabe? Eu acho que quando a gente se depara com essa pergunta, e você, quem é você? Sabe? Tem quem eu sou? Né? Eu sou uma pessoa, estou vivendo numa sociedade, estou interagindo com pessoas, quando você começa a entender que você é um ser humano único e frágil e que depende dos outros, eu acho que você começa a entender que você precisa respeitar os outros e refletir sobre respeito, tolerância, sobre a diversidade. Então, são essas... É, para mim, é essa a reflexão principal que fica para o espectador. Quem é você? Né? É isso. Ok, então... So, uh... His main objective is that, well, his main desire is that when people leave the cinema, they are able to reflect on today's life and especially on what we lack the most, which is to reflect on tolerance, to reflect on respect, uh, to embrace uh, diversity so that we can all live in peace. Basically, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> so, I love tolerance, respect. This is the most important. I I think for sure the message of the movie, of course. Yes. And you, my 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 my, my friends, what uh, the question for uh, 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 for all everyone? For everyone. <laughs> well, I I hope people can can think about who they really are as Alice suggests at the end of the movie and but mainly uh, who we are in our society or who we are um, when it comes to another people how we receive people and how we act in people's lives uh, I hope we can find love and strength in ourselves to become who we are and to accept people more, respect people more, so we can be um, friendly and loving towards each other. And yeah, I hope people can, can really see how uh, unique and but at the same time, how, how similar we are in, in our existence. So yeah. <laughs> Annie, it's your turn. Um, eu acho que um, eu acho que um dos objetivos do filme é fazer você olhar no olho de uma pessoa trans, de uma garota trans, e conseguir se identificar com ela, ver que você tem os mesmos problemas e desejos que ela tem também, e que você é tão similar e singular quanto ela. E, e a Alice é uma, pessoa, uma personagem cheia de si, que não abaixa a cabeça e sabe dos seus objetivos. E eu acho que ela quer que todos sejam assim também. No final de tudo, é, o filme é sobre amor e respeito. Ok, então... So, uh... She, she hopes that the objective of, the, of this movie is that many people can 
look at a trans into the eye and see not not a trans but see a, a normal person just like them that they have desires they have fears and they are they're absolutely normal people and that they are they they also are entitled to be able to live in peace and to have love yes i guess and that you know, leaves me yeah uh I, I honestly I accepted to do this this to enter into this adventure because I, I really identified myself with the uh, with the image of the father. I was so I was so uh, I was so excited by by doing this by doing this role because the father is really a cool guy. He's really a open-minded guy. He totally supportive of his child, uh, defending his child all the time, helping the child. And that is for me, the essence of, of, of a, of a real home with a capital H when, when there is love and respect, then your child will grow up to become a normal human being and will, will themselves be able to share this love and respect with their fellow citizens, no matter who they are, where they are and what they do. So this, this for me, uh, was, was a great, great movie. And I really hope that uh, parents, like adolescents, when they go watch this movie, they go home and say, wow, that, that could be me in the movie, you know, that I do that. Or, wow, I don't do that. I should do that. And, wow, this is really a, a great experience and a great opportunity, I believe, for, for many people. Beautiful. It's just like a giant love fest in here right now. <laughs> I, so um, I just want you know, I could keep going forever. Um, I have so many random things I want to ask, like about pine cones, but I'm going to let that go. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for, for joining me uh, in this Q&A. And I'm really genuinely excited to continue to see this film go out into the world and also see what you all are up to next and keep track of that. So uh, thank you to all of you and thank you to all of our audience members out in internet land. And I hope everyone enjoys Frameline. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>